Hello everybody, I'm uh, Dan Andrei Kruska from Watch I Love magazine and I'm here today with Romain Marietta from Zenit, Product Development and Heritage Director. So, we are... Hello, hello Dan Andre. pleasure to have you. Pleasure to have you too, as well. Uh, so we are in the mid of uh, the Watch Week and uh, Zenit has a uh, very strong presence this year with a lot of uh, novelties and a lot of very interesting concepts. I will start directly with uh, with the skyline. I think yes. I think this was the hottest topic of this week. Absolutely, this is the main uh, this is the main launch, the main new uh, uh, additional product that we I mean line that we are uh, added to um, to our uh, global collection. Absolutely. Uh, the focus of LVMH Watch Week is all about uh, the DeFi collection. Uh, Watches and Wonders would be about uh, Chronomaster. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, each and every sub range or sub line of DeFi are uh, getting a new uh, uh, additional novelties uh, this year at LVMH Watch Week, but especially the Skyline, uh, which is uh, very important for us. Uh, it's the natural evolution. I'm anticipating your question. Uh, let me let me uh, let me know <laughs> if you want to interrupt me. Uh, but it's uh, it's the natural evolution of the DeFi Classic that we have introduced uh, in 2018, uh, one mm -hmm. year after the El Primero 21. Uh, if you want to, um, I would say, uh, create an icons for the next uh, decades and, and the next coming uh, uh, years, uh, you also have to refresh it or to add some values, to add some character, and it's exactly uh, what we tend to do here with the DeFi Skyline, which is replacing basically uh, the DeFi Classic by uh, having been updated, upgraded mm -hmm. uh, aesthetically, but also uh, technically, and we can dive into this um, yes, yes, if you yes, allow please. me to, uh, if you allow me to, to do it. Um, <laughs> yes, please. On, on my wrist here, as you can see, you have uh, the, the very first DeFi from 1969, uh, the yeah. 30, 3642 uh, reference, uh, which was the first wristwatch of the DeFi collection back in 1969, the same year mm -hmm. as we introduced the El Primero. So we not only did the El Primero in 1969, we also introduced this crazy cool and very avant-garde aesthetic. But uh, the I should define... Yeah, I, I please, interrupt please, please, please. you a little bit because I see you have a, a letter um, a, a bracelet on this watch. This was launched yeah. with this strap or with a, with a full strap? Because I remember I've seen this watch a few years ago and I've seen it with, with a full bracelet. No, no, originally it was on a ladder bracelet like this one. Ah, okay. It was originally launched with this uh, specific aesthetic that you also mm -hmm. find mm -hmm. in the, uh, on the, the, the 384, uh, for example, or some of the most iconic uh, uh, vintage model from, from Zenit. It was part of the same catalog in 1969, so the, the 1969 catalog of, of, uh, of that time. Uh, <laughs> this watch is a 37 millimeter steel watch. Uh, very interesting in terms of design and we took a lot of inspiration from this watch to mm -hmm. create the future of the DeFi Classic, which is the DeFi Skyline, giving more uh, angles uh, to the watch. As you can see here, it's the first octagonal case shape uh, of our history mm -hmm. um, uh, on the wristwatch, intent to be sporty uh, in 1969. So some years uh, ahead of some competitors that you of course know uh, so it's also here to highlight not to change uh, to change the um, um, the opinion of, of people but just to highlight one chapter of our history mm -hmm. uh, which is also dedicated to this kind of uh, cool design ahead of its uh, of its time at the forefront of innovation at that time uh, which is still the best i mean the the, the spirit of of defi collection uh, uh, since then the DeFi collection has been created uh, officially in 1902, uh, mm -hmm. so 120 years ago by our founder, Georges Flav Jacot, registered trademark, re registered trademark with the name DeFi with a, with a high, uh, so a, a E in French, and then we changed it to a Y in 1969 with this watch to make it more international. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting watch in terms of design, and we we took our inspiration from this one. But just before we introduce the skyline, last week we introduced 
the revival of this watch that I'm wearing, which is here in my, in my hands, in my black mm -hmm. glove, which is a revival entirely new of this specific 3642 uh, model. Uh, same proportion, exact uh, replica, I would say, twisted a bit with the Superluminova color and also, of course, the movement that is in it. We don't mm -hmm. have any more the 2552 movement, which was already automatic, but here we have the elite movement with the sapphire crystal case back, which was not uh, the case on the watch that I'm wearing on my wrist, which was a, which was a plain mm -hmm. case back. Uh, this watch was also, technically speaking, very interesting at that time, uh, the watch I'm wearing, because the movement was assembled on bumpers to absorb shocks. Um, the, mo the, the crown was already a screw-in crown. The glass was already a sapphire, which was not that common at that time in 1969. Mm -hmm. So the watch was water-resistant to 300 meters. So it was daring, challenging, exactly uh, what means finally, finally the, the, the name itself, the name of the collection, uh, DeFi. And... Um, it's the a revival program. It's a beast please, also. Please. It's a beast also for these days. Yeah, true. It's still very modern. It's still very modern uh, and very actual. I, I would say in terms of aesthetics, mm. and that's also why we are highlighting this. And um, and, and 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 this watch has a, has a fantastic presence uh, on the wrist. And and I, as I said, uh, we took the inspiration for the Defy Skyline. Uh, to create also the bridge with our endless patrimony, with our very rich uh, history. We have 157 mm. uh, years of, of history, and it was important for us to also highlight this, uh, this chapter of our, uh, of our history. So this watch is a, is a limited edition that we have uh, created, 250 units, and it's a new chapter because it's opening the doors to future development of revival DeFi models. Uh, and uh, if you know quite well this type of, 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 of uh, product that we used to have, uh, we did some crazy iteration, some crazy variation with funky cool uh, dials, but also some diver pieces. So it's really opening a new chapter for, for revival because we also want to have some revival in the DeFi collection, but also in the pilot and also in the elite and not only in Chronomaster and to highlight the El Primero movement. We want really to uh, put the focus on all different uh, era, design, aesthetics, uh, techniques, mm -hmm. and, 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 and chapter of our history. So now if I'm jumping to the bridge that creates with this watch with the skyline is, of course, uh, the case, aesthetically speaking, first of all, the case is more angular. So compared to the DeFi Classic that the people uh, know until then, uh, the side of the case were not that angular. Uh, we are adding this, this, uh, this, uh, these angles to this watch to give more character to the case. We mm -hmm. also have this new signature bezel, which is directly inspired from uh, these watches. This uh, original watches was 14-sided uh, bezel. The new Skyline is with 12 uh, faceted uh, side, 12-sided mm -hmm. bezel. Uh, it's well, it's, it's more, I would say, well proportioned. It has a better um, um, uh, balance, uh, aesthetically speaking, to have 12 uh, uh, sided bezel uh, to also match the position of the index and to, uh, uh, to uh, go along the, the, 30, the 360 degrees of, 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 uh, of, uh, of a bezel. Mm -hmm. um, the watch is also equipped with a screen crown, which is brand new for, for that type of, uh, of, of watch, which is also a direct link to the 3642, which was equipped with a, a screwing crown. It was not possible to have this on the DeFi uh, Classic until uh, now, so it's another feature that we are adding. And of course, if you pay uh, attention to what is happening on the dial, in the sub-dial, uh, it seems that the, the hands is running fast, is turning quite fast. And uh, in fact, it's, it's another feature very specific to the El Primero, which only the El Primero can do. Uh, we shifted the, the, the movement from the elite movement to the El Primero, so it's a brand new mm. movement, displaying, indicating in that subdial the tenth of a second, the heartbeat of the El Primero. Uh, it's like a heartbeat. It has not real, I would say, function behind, because it's an indication of the tense. It's not a permanent second anymore, but still, it's differentiating ourselves from the others. It's giving you a hint to what the, the movement is, uh, is capable of. And if you look at this watch, either you know the El Primero, so you understand what it means, 
And if you don't know the El Primero, at least you are, you are, you have an eye, an eye catching, uh, functionality on the watch that, uh, interrogates yourself for what is happening on the dial. Mm -hmm. so, so you it have was very important for us uh, to, to implement this, uh, on this, on this new uh, Skyline model. Mm -hmm. So you have stripped down the 36 double uh, O and uh, chronometer, and you made it just, let's say, running seconds. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 not just a, a, a variation of the uh, uh, platform 36 double zero. It has been entirely reworked from scratch because we we couldn't have been able to to propose this uh, permanent tenth of a second. Uh, running seconds uh, only by just taking off the chronograph. You have also to mm -hmm. completely rebuild the, the, the platform, but it's based on the same uh, platform and, 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 uh, and, mod and mod modularity and concept. Uh, but to, to maintain uh, uh, the power reserve, the amplitude and the precision of the watch by taking the energy directly to the escapement to indicate the tense, you have to think differently the El Primero and to think directly about a three hands and not just a chronograph without the chronograph module. Mm -hmm. So you have the, the display of the tenth of the second has actually no, let's say, uh, not added value, but it's, it cannot be really used to to split the minute in, into six segments because it's, as I can see, it's quite hard to read uh, which yeah, of the decade. I mean, it's, it's, exactly, it's 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 making a revolution in ten seconds, like our chronograph are doing now with the Chronomaster Sport and the chronograph, uh, the Chronomaster Original. Uh, here it's a permanent indication of the heartbeat, as I said, it's a one tenth of a second indication. Uh, we cannot really talk about the function or a comp it's a complication, but it's not a function. It's, it's here to indicate something. The watch is equipped with a stop tenth of a second mechanism. It's, it's, it's the same stop second mechanism, but in fact, it's a stop tenths of a second. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it has no real functionality. It's also here to, um, interrogate yourself to what is happening here and to, and to create a bridge to the DNA of the, uh, of the El Primero and to, to create a very unique product, uh, on that segment, on the integrated sports, uh, steel segment, which is obviously very crowdy. Mm -hmm. uh, occupied by a um, very iconic product, that's for sure. Uh, but we are also here to, to take our uh, 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 market share in that segment, but to create also a unicity and a unique product offer with this new uh, Skyline. You also see that we have added also a pattern on the dial, very important. Yes, that this was my next is, question. Is, is a starry sky, in fact, this pattern is made uh, uh, is inspired from the the logo i will i will show you what inspired us i will take my watch off my wrist uh, because it's important to have a look at it uh let me just create the focus yeah the cameraman will help me here is the case back of my watch mm -hmm. with this uh four star logo which was our actual i mean our logo back in the 60s uh actually uh it's a double z combined together that creates a, a, a four star branch, which is still our logo nowadays, but with five branch, uh, the five star branch. Uh, this was the very first uh, starting point of our reflection to uh, use this uh, logo as a pattern and to recreate a starry sky onto uh, the dial. I will take another example of the, of the, of the skyline here in silver to also mm -hmm. see what we have done. So it's a starry sky perfectly uh, aligned on the, onto the dial with the sun ray finishings that creates a unique pattern and a unique gear shape uh, decoration onto the dial. How is the pattern created? Is stamped or? Yeah, the, at first, of course, it's a, it's a, it's a guilloche, but then it's a stamped, uh, it's of course a stamping tool to recreate, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, of course, the, the dial. So yeah, absolutely. It's tooled, and, uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's stamped, absolutely. And, and it's, it's, in, it's in negative, it's in negative, of course. Huh? And the sun ray is uh, from laser engraving or how, how it's produced? The sun ray? No, the, the, the sun ray uh, is, is, is doing with a, with a, with a brush. 
like uh, like a regular uh, produced sun ray uh, dial, dial, dial yeah absolutely no it's not made by laser and the sun ray is starting from the the the, the, the logo from zenith, just above yes. just above the the, the zenith logo and mm. is uh, is is creating a, a lot a lot of reflection on the dial which is absolutely gorgeous it's, yes, it's it maybe is. more easy to more maybe more easy to see uh, on the camera on the on the on the blue the dial blue. than in, on the silver dial absolutely Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's uh, it's um, the quintessential DeFi uh, model, the expression of who we are with DeFi, but also who we are with uh, with uh, with Zenith. A quintessential DeFi with a lot of uh, content, a lot of technicity, a lot of uh, uh, design expression, uh, with this new uh, twelve-sided bezel signature that we will uh, implement on each and every model in the future. Uh, actually, it has been proposed already last year on the DeFi Extreme, and uh, not all the people have noticed it, but the DeFi Extreme was the very first model introduced with this new uh, bezel, with this new signature bezel, uh, that, that could have been anticipated to what we are doing now with the, with the, with the Skyline. We so the watch is available in blue, in black, and in silver. And in the future, it will be, of course, um, uh, implemented in the other collections, such as the DeFi Midnight and the El Primero uh, 21 uh, mm -hmm. uh, models. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, you intend to make also other colors for for the Skyline, or will it remain for the moment these two, three? At, at first, I mean, year one, of course, we are introducing three new colors uh, in the plain <clears throat> in the plain dial. We will have one more edition for our own retail uh, channel. So there will be one more additional colors coming uh, um, in uh, in June that you will discover later this year, and we will also uh, starting from May, but it's still on the press embargo. We will also introduce uh, the skeletonized version of the Skyline. Great. Will the strap be uh, the especially the rubber strap can be? You will have uh, additional color choices. Uh, for the time being, we have three colors. Uh, each and every color are uh, with, I mean, dedicated to one dial color. So this mm -hmm. green new rubber strap, also bearing by, uh, by the way, uh, the starry sky in the central part, Indeed. will be dedicated to the silver dial. Mm -hmm. Then we will mm -hmm. have the blue rubber strap for the blue dial, which is already available. And we also have a black rubber strap for the black dial. Mm -hmm. And of course, in the, the years to come, we will have some more uh, colors that will uh, be uh, uh, added to the to the collection. Uh, by but the first, way, the the crown will be used also for for other models because because you have a redesigned a restyle a restyle crown as well. It's a much yeah, more bolder it's, design. It, it, exactly, it's different from the the, the former Defy Classic. Uh, it's more in line with what we have done on the DeFi Extreme. So it's a brand new type of, 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 of crown that also will be, uh, as, as you mentioned, uh, Dan, uh, implemented in, on the other uh, models uh, because it has more character and more, uh, more refined details and finishing that uh, at the end gives more uh, value uh, to, the, to the watch. Exactly. Um, I would ask you. I would like to ask you to to switch fast to another piece to go to the to the carbon version, because yeah. you have a very interesting carbon and titan version. Um, I think this is the first uh, Defy in uh, El Primero in uh, carbon, or am I wrong? Uh, we did we did have one uh, in the DeFi 21 models, 100 of a second chronograph, uh, which is the, the other the other case, uh, not exactly angular like this one. So it has been mm -hmm. introduced um, in a, in a, in 2020 in carbon fiber, but it's the first DeFi extreme in the, in, a, in carbon fiber mixing with a titanium. Last year we introduced three uh, references in DeFi extreme. Uh, titanium brushed and polished, uh, a microblasted version and a microblasted with rose gold uh, elements. And mm -hmm. here for the first time, a more sporty expression of uh, extreme, uh, taking inspiration from the automobile field uh, with our collaboration with the Extreme E, the, the off-road electric races. Um, and we are uh, creating this one in carbon fiber, which is the material quite commonly used in, uh, in automobile and creating the bridge between uh, our uh, 
world and their uh, automobile uh, field. So but this is a very, uh, very bestial looking <laughs> product, a beast on the wrist, uh, a racing machine that I really personally uh, like, that will be also uh, equipped with the fully interchangeable strap system that we have developed for Midnight, for Extreme, mm -hmm. and also for Skyline. Uh, Skyline is also equipped with the, the interchangeable strap system. What was the, the challenges, the difficulties working with, with carbon for this watch? Because, uh, of course, in automotive industry, is already a very long tradition in working in carbon, but for the watch industry, it's relatively new material. Oh, it's 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 not that new anymore, but um, here it's a, a multi-layered uh, for I mean multi-layered carbon. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the main challenges is that this 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 material is uh, uh, is not that hard to to produce or to to machine, but uh, it has a lot of. Um, uh, of uh, uh, problematic, I mean, not problematic, but you have to cut it, you have to uh, refine it uh, with all the angles that you want to have, and it's uh, it's it's a long process of of, of production to to obtain it. Uh, but it, uh, but apart from this, uh, it's 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 uh, it's a material that is now quite well mastered, I would say, uh, at least at our level, uh, by our suppliers, and um, and we are. Uh, yeah, we are, we are going to continue to, to innovate and to bring some new materials, even more, even more technical than the, than the carbon. And uh, this, uh, this is going to be some, some surprise that you will see in the, the coming month. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, this was interesting to, to work with because the, the aesthetic, the, the global aesthetic of carbon looks like a camouflage, like a camo finishing, which I personally really like. Yes, indeed. And it's very matte and very sporty. So, so yeah, it's it's and, and light, light and 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 uh, and and quite uh, robust also at the same time. So I see that it's skeletonized, and I think this will will uh, open the world to the colors that you are adding in recent years to the movements. Mm -hmm. uh, you started with with uh, one color and now you have uh, especially for the chroma for the new defy chroma you have uh, multicolored uh, movement yeah uh, absolutely yeah it is hey, uh, voilà. here is the defy 21 chroma uh, yes this is a very cool watch limited 200 units and here our idea was quite simple it was to doing our own interpretation of what can be a rainbow, but a different rainbow that what you are commonly uh, uh, that you are commonly having in the in, in the watchmaking business that we also mm. did uh, in the past or the in the recent years we also did some uh, some diamond set or sapphire set uh, gemstone product on the bezel or, or on on the on the on the case. And here we wanted to be more in line with our um, uh, our DNA of uh, highlighting our movements in colors since day one, 2017, and El Primero, the El Primero 21 uh, movement uh, launch. Uh, we have been highlighting our mechanism in colors, in blue, in black, and then with different other colors that we have been mastering, introducing uh, world first like uh, purple, pink, and, and, and some others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we did uh, this rainbow by putting some colors into specific components of the watch on the front face, but also on the back of the watch. So here you have some uh, bridges and plates in purple, in orange, in, uh, in, in green. Uh, on the back, you have a little deoscillating weight, which is, which, is, uh, which is blue. You also have a component that you can see here uh, appearing in, in, in pink. So mm -hmm. it's, it's all the different colors that, that we are mastering uh, uh, now putting together to create uh, our interpretation of a rainbow uh, also on the indexes but also on the stitching like as you can see on the on the strap very nice uh, very nice it's strap a, it's a cool piece of uh, cool piece of joy uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, re nice really sense. really uh, yeah it's uh, we need that we need these kind of pieces nowadays um, in, in in those time of pandemic uh, where all the people are quite sad uh, we need this kind of of product that makes you smile and that 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 are quite um, yeah that enjoyable for, mm -hmm. yeah exactly exactly uh can you what can you tell me about the stability or let's say the aging of the colors in in time well it's 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 uh, it's a pvd treatment on 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 all the different components and it's mm -hmm. And it stay like this. I mean, uh, in terms of uh, uh, it aged very well. We did some tests. I mean, if there is no um, 
I would say, leak of uh, <clears throat> water resistant in the in the movement, there will be no problem. It will not move. Um, it will not be impacted by UV or stuff like this. So the color will stay bright, uh, which is also a kind of cool. And um, and yeah, no, we, the, 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 the technology behind is, is well mastered. Very nice. Uh, but you have you still have a one last novelty and it's the defied midnight. Uh, yeah. Because in the in the last years we can uh, and I salute that particularly you have a very strong uh, care and attention for the feminine side of the collecting watches, and you have the defied midnight that midnight that brings also this joy with its color dial and a little bit of diamonds to make also the girls happy. Yeah, absolutely. It's a dedicated feminine uh, line uh, in the DeFi collection that we introduced in 2020 during the first LVMH Watch Week uh, in Dubai. It was physical. It was one of the last events we all had together. And this is where we, we brought the, the DeFi Midnight, which was mm -hmm. uh, Midnight Sky um, implemented into watches. A gradient midnight skies and here we have developed two new animation recreating two other type of skies that you can find in the nature which is the sunset and the aurora borealis that we have tried to recreate reinterpret into uh, dials with gradient dial i'm sorry that the zoom ah voila the zoom is now the focus is perfect on the on mm -hmm. to the dial so you have these two models in steel 36 millimeters with diamonds uh, diamond bezel and diamond indices, indexes, recreating these two skies uh, with the global interchangeable strap offer uh, that is already available with um, with um, the, the DeFi Midnight. So you simply mm -hmm. have to press uh, the, the pushers on the back of the watch to change your strap and to, uh, to have a different uh, face to this watch. The watch is delivered on metal and you get three additional straps that will be uh, recreating also the, the, the colors of the rainbow. I'm just taking the, the strap over there so you can have a look at this. This is the mm -hmm. strap to the for the Aurora Borealis and then the strap for uh, the sunset, which are, of course, uh, yellow and red to create also your own gradient on the strap and also onto the onto mm -hmm. the onto the dial. So how, how, how are the colors uh, made into because you have a guilloche dial also with a, a Sandray yeah. guilloche dial? very beautiful, but you have this gradient. How it is obtained? Is lacquered or is also no, here it's also PVD? It's, it's, no, we, we at, the, at first the intention was to create this by PVD treatment, but we are we are not being able to to master exactly what we wanted. And the, the final result was not at the at the level of expectation we wanted to have. So it's a regular way of doing gradient. It's made by hand with a kind of spray if I may uh, uh, vulgarize a bit this um, this uh, this <laughs> operation, but this is the way it, it's done. So each and every, um, even if the the process is easily reproducible, it's still made by by, uh, by I would say a, a, a semi machine human uh, uh, way mm -hmm. of finishing the the, the, the gradient. It's the a little bit of human touch. Exactly, absolutely. Specifically in the dye process, there is a lot of human operation. Mm -hmm. Voila, André. Thank we you did very the much. Whole, yes. the whole uh, uh, <laughs> tour of the collection of the introduction of LVMH Watch Week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yes. I hope, very... I hope we will have the chance to see each other uh, in Watches and Wonders physically. Yes, of course. Um, if it's be, not cancelled. Be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I hope so. And uh, yeah, we will have some more uh, uh, models, novelties, uh, as I said more on chronomaster than what we have here in defy and um, and still plenty of surprise and good product for for your audience and for our uh, beloved clients voilà. thank you very much for your time and have a nice evening Welcome. and a nice rest of the yeah. watch week you too take care then ciao bye. ciao ciao bye bye